Today is the day, it has finally arrived, that I have an appointment with the prefecture. Um, as many of you probably know, I've been waiting for my carte de séjour for about five months now. I just received my recipe say, which is basically a receipt stating that I'm allowed to stay in France until I um, get my carte de séjour. And yeah, so I have an appointment with them today. Uh, they need some paperwork from me, basically stating that I'm going to um, my OFI classes, my French classes. So I have that with me here. And if you live in France, you need a whole bunch of paperwork. So it's really smart to um, have extra even when you're going to these appointments just in case they ask you for other things. So I have all my paperwork here. I have Paul's paperwork. And definitely living in France, um, get a printer. It will save you so much time than having to go out and get things printed. But yeah, I'm excited. I don't know what to expect from this appointment. So hopefully everything goes smoothly. Hopefully I get my carte de séjour today. That would be amazing. But yeah, I, my appointment's at 10.30. I'm about to head out, go meet Paul there right now. And we'll see what happens. I just got back from the prefecture. No carte de séjour. We just went in to sign some papers and then give them papers that I'm attending my French classes and that I finished my civic courses. So basically, um, I have to wait another two months for me to receive my carte de séjour and I probably will only get the one year because in order for you to get a two year carte de séjour, you have to have completed the A1 classes in French and A2 classes in French. And I'm currently in A1. I'll probably finish my hours maybe by January, February, and then I'll go into A2 class. And hopefully by then I will be able to pass the test. And I believe if you get like a B1 level, you actually get a 10 year carte de séjour. So that will be very nice when that happens. I know it will happen. I don't know if it will happen by next year, but um, we'll see. Yeah, so eh, basically a whole process for you to get a carte de jour here in France in my area. It's like a total of seven months, which is crazy, but it's okay. I'm here. Things are moving along slowly, but we'll get there. I am about to make myself a grilled cheese to make me happy and some leftover tomato soup from last night. I don't know what else I'm gonna do today. Maybe I'll head to um, the city center. I do need some tea. I do need to make a run to my local little Asian market. So maybe we'll head there today. because we don't have <laughs> enough room in the house for a dining room table. I made this soup last night. It's just um, carrots, tomato, onion, sauteed in like olive oil. Then you blend it all up, add some basil and coconut milk. It's so delicious, it looks really hot right now. Mm, very hot.
so I just made it to the city center. I'm waiting for Paul to get off work. Um, I don't know, maybe he'll want to get a drink after work or we'll just head straight home, but I came to get my tea. It's just so nice to be out. Even though it's super windy and cold, the sun is out, so it feels really nice and everything's decorated for Christmas. So the environment is really, really lovely. But yeah, I'll take you guys to the tea shop right now with me and see what new tea I'm gonna get. Dry. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up and we just sing along and I can't help but feeling just loving. Got my tea and um, some soap for the body and other goodies. But yeah, we're about to head to Mana Espresso and have a coffee. I'll probably have a tea. It's a cold day. You know how much I love you. I put your favorite song on just to wake you up. When I dance, I was really hoping they had a vegan cookie. Just get a matcha. All right, we just got out of Mana. Paul and I love to go there. They just opened a new spot. We featured them in a couple of our other videos as well, but they just opened this new place and it's a lot bigger, a lot spacious. We still haven't done brunch there, which hopefully we'll one day be able to uh, do that. Um, but now we just realized that why don't we go do some Christmas shopping? We need to get some Christmas presents for Paul's family. So we're gonna, oh, it's windy. Head uh, inside the center and see what we can find. So I wanted to show you guys uh, what I got from the little tea shop. Two kinds, I got one with like spices in it and then another one uh, which was the lady's favorite in the store, which is grilled almonds, um, a black tea. And I was asking her about the shop and it, Apparently it's like the only one, the only shop available. You can even order online and they get all their products from Japan from a small farmer. So I thought that was really, really amazing. And I just love that shop. So if you're ever in X, you definitely need to make a stop there because all of their teas are so delicious and they have like new ones coming in all the time. And those two bags that I got were, um, I think they was like, Nine, nine euros, so it's very, very reasonable price. And then the soap shop that I stopped at, I went to go get a bar of soap, and I told her how my skin is like usually dry during the winter, so she recommended this aloe vera one. I don't know if you guys can see it. And then I got suckered into, the whole reason why I wanted to get a bar of soap was to use less plastic waste, but then I got suckered into this. It's like part of their holiday collection, and it's a scrub and it smells delicious. It's like a coffee and chocolate flavor. It smells so good. I'm so excited to use it. But yep, uh, that's all I got today. But yeah, let's go Christmas shopping with Paul. So I've 
heard that they have vegan calisones right here at this shop behind me. Uh, thank you to, I forget your name, who told me about this, but we're about to go check. Hopefully they do because I'd love to try them. Let's go see. Let's try them out. I'm so happy. <laughs> That's all give them to somebody that does your mom. We'll yeah. see. So she said it's just uh, at the same, just without mm. egg, right? So instead of egg white, they use um, aquafaba. Ah, chickpea juice. Mmm. Mm. It's good. Yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's not like, oh my gosh, you know I'm amazing, but I like it. Yay! I like it because it's not too sweet? too sweet. Yeah, I love that. It's like perfect. Nice treat. Yay! Thank you so much um, to whoever told me about these. I really, really appreciate it. I am working on my OCD. Not making the bed today. It's harder than it looks. We arrived at our first place to get our Christmas tree. We don't know where we're gonna get it yet. So we have Castorama, which we are in the parking lot right now. And then Botanic is across the street. Castorama is like the equivalent of Home Depot in the US, just so you know. Yes. We really wanted to get our Christmas tree at Ikea because you only pay 25 euros and then you actually get a gift card to spend 25 euros at Ikea so it ends up being free but unfortunately they didn't have any availability because you have to order online before you go to pick up the tree so we're here uh, at Castorama and hopefully we find a tree for a good price <laughs> But we'll see. I don't know. Nervous to see the prices because I remember last year at Botanic, they were really. What are you doing? Oh, away. Um, last year, they were kind of expensive at Botanic. So I don't know. We'll see. So let's go Christmas tree shopping. Well, that was a fail because they close at one and it is exactly 102. So off to Botanic we go. Go outside, the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with the smile. Paul's rushing through the store. I like to take my time and like look around, but he wants to go straight to the Oh look at little doggy ones. Yeah, down by sleepy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I like to take my time and look around, but he's like rushing straight to the Christmas tree section. Go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. All I want is to spend well, this is exactly what I remember last year. Them being like really, really small, and they're 35 euros. I don't know what we're gonna do. I think we found one. So tiny. As long as I spend the day with you, so beautiful. Oh no, it's okay. Making plans for what we're gonna do. I feel so blessed that I can be with you. All right, so botanic uh, work. We also, if we bring back the tree, uh, we get 10 euros back after the tree is sadly dead. But that's good that they do that, kind of like a recycling program, right? Well, I mean, Ikea's doing it, so if nobody that's else true. is doing it, then nobody's gonna sell any trees. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we got one. She's very small, a lot smaller than last year. Yeah, but at least we found the one tree that looked full. Right. And stop saying her because it's a heat. Ha, ah, whatever. Let me give you a Christmas moment will fill with love and joy. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I don't need any presents as long as oh. I spend this day. Last 
last year, we couldn't even like fit the tree in the elevator. Do you remember? <laughs> she fits. She's so small. It's a he. A tree is a masculine. It's a masculine well, word. Well, I like to say she. Anab. 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 Oh, we. Spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas moment we'll fill with love and joy. Love and so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you, with you, with you. Need any presents? As long as I spend this day with you. So excited we actually found a tree especially because all of them are really small at botanic and this one is like the perfect size for our small apartment last year it was super big and it kind of looked a little awkward because our apartment is so small but set up a little charcuterie board and having a glass of white wine and we're gonna decorate our tree I can't wait to see what she's gonna look like Ugh. Whatever, I say it's a she. I think we discussed this last year too. It was the same thing. We probably had the same issue. Yeah, but we're about to decorate and then we'll probably watch a Christmas movie tonight. I don't know. Some of my favorites are The Family Stone, The Holiday, of course, and Love Actually. So I don't know which one we're going to choose from. so much for joining us today if you enjoy my content please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button it helps me reach other viewers like yourself um, but yeah happy holidays I hope you guys are enjoying your holidays and staying safe and healthy and I'll see you next week for another video Sante. Monster. <laughs>